Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. Happy New Year. And this is the first reading of 2024. However, whenever you find yourself to this video, as they are all, the readings are timeless. If it's resonating for you, most likely the message is for you. So we're going to tap into sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Scorpio to get some messages. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. <clears throat> if you're interested in a personal one-to-one -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. All information is in the description box below. All right, let's begin, Scorpio. feeling something like that Scorpio peace comes from within do not seek it without yeah important message Scorpio Do not seek your peace outside of yourself through other people or other experiences. This is something for you to find your inner peace. You may be going through a challenge right now where things uh, are truth, or truth, ugh, truth is revealing itself to you in one way, shape or form. And it may not be the truth that you had hoped it would be. However, Scorpios love the truth regardless. So, let's see what this is about, Scorpio. Message for Scorpio. Oh my. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. So, Scorpio, you feel very grounded and connected to nature, connected to your own nature, your true nature, and you give of that energy freely. It is what um, gives you peace, pleasure, and um, really powers that vital life force energy within you. When you give, it is also rewarding. You receive. King of Swords. I'll show you the cards in a minute. Some truth has been revealed, as I was saying. And having the ability to see that truth from um, a higher perspective is important right now. Here's your giving card. You're patient. You're loving. You're caring, compassionate. And you do hold, you possess, whether it's physical possessions or spiritual knowledge, whatever it is that you possess, you're very confident within that and you do give to others whatever you have it to give. Um, like I said, truth being revealed and you're being asked to see this from a higher perspective and use your internal wisdom here. You may be getting triggered, the moon. Some things are hidden from you still. And the moon is reflecting the duality of the situation. As well as, um, yeah, we see the duality. The black and the white dog. In traditional tarot, one in the moon card, there's a wolf and a dog representing domesticated animal versus wild animal. Um, the moon is watery. She is immersed in her emotions at this time. So whatever is going on, Scorpio, for you with this truth, it triggered some deep emotions within you. Um, overall, the four of swords, um, this is good. You're nesting, <laughs> resting, slowing down. Or you're being asked to. Whether you're listening to it or not, you may end up with a forced rest, such as myself, 
which just means like if you get sick or have an accident or something, you suddenly can't do all the things that you intended on doing, you must rest. Let's keep going for Scorpio. A lot of things are changing, and as they are changing in the external, they're also changing on the internal. As you are processing this new truth, there's there's deeper messages here for you, Scorpio, and some still may be hidden until you really get in touch with those the depths of the emotions that are rising to the surface from this truth. Don't forget about your ability to see from the higher perspective, from the universal perspective. Listen to the messages that are coming through to you, the omens, and use your inner wisdom and knowledge. Don't allow this to take you all the way down. I mean, if it does, it does. The moon again, yeah. What this is supposed to be um, doing for you, Scorpio, is activating some of the aspects within you that may have been hidden, some parts within you that may have been hidden um, from you, subconscious, and um, bringing them to the light of consciousness. How do you react? How do you respond when you hear of truths that are less than enjoyable to hear, right? What stories does the mind build and create? Because things are still, things are not as they appear fully. And I think that Scorpio, intuitively, you know that. But you may have given a lot to someone or something only to have it take from you and have it take from you and leave you um, feeling like, what the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is this all about? Scorpio, but you are so knowledgeable. So definitely use that intuitive ability. Trust the process. Have faith in what is happening right now. Have faith in yourself and your intuition and courage, strength to really go deep, deep inside, deep into those emotions, into the duality within yourself. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Uh, and Scorpio, if any sign can do this, you can do this pretty darn easily going to the depths of yourself. You may be sitting back going, but I've been doing this for like a long time. Why do I have to keep doing this? Because we, we hide a lot from ourselves. We hide a lot. And now, again, this is your turn to have something that you did not fully recognize or understand or see within you. Um, bring it to the light of consciousness. This is going to really propel you forward in, a, in a, an amazing way. Four of emotions overall. So you're sort of like, I don't even see you as being overly emotional about this. It's more like, yeah, yeah that stung. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, let me go within. Let me feel this. What's this showing me? Uh, I really don't know how to feel about the situation. I have emotions that are coming up, some that really don't feel good at all. Others are, okay, I, uh, you're sort of like, but there's something missing. There's something missing. And for here in this card, she's saying there's something missing. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. There's a cup missing. And guess what? She's sitting in it. It belongs to her. It is within her or him. Who well, you know, this is gender neutral. <laughs> Just talking about the picture on the card. Um, so there's an aspect within you that whatever this deep truth had been revealed, it, it is activating this hidden aspect within you to come alive 
and reveal itself to you. This is kind of exciting, actually. Scorpio, you are the detective of the Zodiac. You like to get to the bottom of things. Well, guess what? This is your opportunity to get to the bottom of something. And that actually comes from within you. We create our own reality. And it's not the way we think we do. It's based off of what is being mirrored and reflected to us from hidden parts, hidden aspects of ourselves. So knowing yourself, knowing all of your parts is going to be such a game changer for you. You already know this. Let's get you some advice here. There's one last message. <clears throat> Surrender. Surrender. Like, whatever's going on in the mind, sure, pay attention. Don't identify with it. Don't go with the story. But listen to what, oh, where my mind is taking me here with this truth. Oh, the stories, the narrative. Where does that take you? Does that take you to places that don't feel good? Betrayal. Abandonment. Some kind of childhood wound, some part within you, and there's a protector part there that um, drives the story, the narrative. You want to get in contact with that part of you. Don't believe the narrative. However, use discernment. I'm not saying that this truth isn't truth. But it is definitely a direct reflection on something deeper within you. Yeah. There's like loss, loss of relationship, sadness, heartbreak. There could be one person in particular that this is about and their memories continue to pop up and it's driving you crazy. <laughs> Don't override it. Don't run and hide from it. There's, there's a message there for you. And you may have to decode it in your own way. But you've got this, Scorpio. You've got the moon twice. Tap into those feelings. Tap into those emotions. Okay. Okay. understand how the mind runs the show and the ten of swords is sort of like where your mind takes you when you're you're triggered when you're given something um that feels real that enrages you or really upsets you or takes you down a dark path how do you react how do you respond what stories are are what narrative is running in your mind and where does that take you this is important to really get in touch with this part of yourself, Scorpio. So this part does not take over you. Justice at the bottom overall. Once you do, you find yourself in balance, harmony within, as within, so without. We're going to get you one last piece of advice from Native Spirit. So if you're liking this video so far, Scorpio, please... Don't forget to click the like button below the video. I appreciate all of you who do take the time to do that. It really helps with the algorithms. Feel free to comment. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio, please. <clears throat> Yeah, have the strength to sort of override this mental chatter. Don't ignore it. But um, observe it. With Prayer Feather and Tribal Spirit Dancer. Um... We'll start with prayer feather. 
Love is flowing to you and through you. No matter what an individual is saying or doing, love him or her anyway. Gather your inner forces silently and secretly love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being. Even if someone isn't fulfilling your expectations, it's easy to love people when they're acting wonderfully. The true challenge is to love them when they aren't. Your native spirit wants you to know feathers in native American in native cultures often represent a connection with creator. Birds often symbolize messengers between the two legged humans and spirit. This is your time to love and be loved. The love that you send out into the world comes back to you a hundredfold. There are times when the small concerns of everyday life need to drop away and be replaced by the majesty of your being. This is that time. Prayer feathers are decorated feathers that can be used for many purposes. In some traditions, prayers are placed into the feather. You can hold it to your heart or between your hands as you focus on your prayer. Then and then tied onto a bush so that when the wind blows, it carries the prayer to the creator. Another kind of prayer feather is a decorated feather or decorated bundle of feathers that are used for smudging ceremonies. Sacred smoke. This, the smoke is to cleanse the space as well as carry your prayers upward. Yeah, so whatever's going on, I feel like it made you really angry or really hurt. Um, so feel those feelings allow yourself to process that, but then uh, rise above and see the bigger picture and send love anyway. Because other people are, are mm -hmm, going through their stuff and um, not fully acting in integrity right now. So the more of us who can stay in our heart and, be, and have that inner peace, the better for the collective. But don't take any shit, you know. <laughs> you know how to balance this, Scorpio. Um, tribal spirit dancer. <clears throat> Let go. Say yes to life. Be daring. Dance to your heart's desire. Unfurl your wings and fly. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Tune into the rhythm of life. Laugh. Explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Sometimes life is messy and chaotic, and that's okay. Leave the dishes, run outside in the sprinklers. Your native spirit wants you to know you're on the planet to be free. You don't always need to meet the expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary life. Of course, there are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to joyously fling your arms to the heavens and dance. Choose life on your terms. Clear out mental and emotional clutter. Move beyond those situations that you have outgrown. Don't accept the rules you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. This is your time. Don't delay listening to the rhythm of your heart and following your dreams. So big message here, Scorpio. Whatever's going on here, it's not fully revealing itself to you, but it is bringing you into the depths of your emotions so that you can retrieve a part of your soul, a part of yourself that you really do want to be aware of so that it does not take over and run the show. Sending out love to all, no matter what they are, how they are acting or what they are doing, you don't need to participate. You can rise above this and um, you will see that things will be shifting for everybody. Stay on course, stay in your lane and peace comes from within Scorpio. So do not seek it outside of yourself. That is the message I have for you this week. I hope that you find this helpful for you and I am sending you out so much love. Take care, bye.